Schloss von Inner Space Explorers. Well, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about an ISE program that's called Diving Basics for Boat Owners. And um, I would like to give you a little bit of a background idea. I mean, everybody knows about my diving, but there's another heart beating in my chest, which is boating. And um, the course was uh, developed a little bit as a combination of these two things. And the story behind is, about two years ago, I was asked by a local guy here if I could organize a fill in his tank. And he showed me a, a really rotten, rusted, I mean, basically beaten to death, four liter tank. And I was asking him why he's not going to fill it himself. And I mean, by the way, don't fill this thing anymore anyway. And he told me like, ah, he just needs it sometimes on the boat to clean it, to fix the anchor, blah, 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 but he has no certification and they don't fill here without a certification and so on. And so I got aware that there is something going on. And then, I mean, being in the harbor, talking to other guys, I realized that a lot of people having boats have some sort of scuba stuff flying around just in case, but there are no divers. So all of you who are divers and have a boat, stop it don't waste your time with this there's plenty of other videos in this channel check them out for those of you who have friends who have boats but the no divers who are boat owners but are not divers yet this is for you because in the meantime in these two years being a lot of time on one of my boats um, I actually had to rescue somebody, I had to help a couple of times and I thought there is a need for, for a little bit of, of safety. So what we came up with is a certain setup for a boat owner that he can use in a safe way without becoming a full-blown diver. Because a lot of these people don't want to do a dive course, they don't want to, I mean there's no interest in diving, they just want to clean their boat or fix their anchor. So, there is a link in the description for the class uh, so you can check out the details and I would just like to show you the equipment that we came up with and tell you a little bit about why we do it the way we do it and then uh, also talk a little bit about the limit of this class. So the first thing we, we take is a very small cylinder, actually a 5 liter tank. Why a 5 liter tank? Well. First of all, it's easy to store on the boat. And second, it restricts you very much regarding depth and time. And this is what we want in this. We don't want those boat owners with this very small course to go for diving. We want them to be at their boat. So the other thing is we just use a small harness with a small plastic back plate. Um, and that's the, the funny thing no buoyancy compensator. What? No buoyancy compensator? This is dangerous. Well, in my opinion, if somebody's not really trained and not a, not a real diver, the buoyancy compensator puts a lot more risk on him than it benefits him. We don't want these people to go deep. We don't want them to, to go in a range where their center aid is a real issue. We want them to stay on the line, actually, so the limit of the course is a maximum of 10 meters for a maximum time of 15 minutes and descent and ascent has to be on a line so instead of put it, taking one of these um, knobs taking air out having weight getting pulled down putting the wrong knob going up fast stuff like that can't happen they actually stay on the line they go down hand over hand they come up hand over hand that's it the other thing very very simple regulator and uh, all of you who are in this DRR uh, community thing forget about it it's nothing to do with that so it's a short regulator with a necklace so it cannot get lost it's an SPG and a depth gauge everything together so no extra instruments or anything like that goes on all right so here's the setup nice easy very simple very intuitive 
and um, actually the perfect setup to just clean your boat, just go down a couple of meters, get the anchor out of that rock, make it ready so you can pull it up, stuff like that. Um, we had a lot of discussions with people who said, ah, oh, this is not safe, you cannot do this. Actually, yeah, we can. Um, we tested it extensively on our own. We tested it with a couple of friends that have boats that said, no, 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 we don't want to dive. So um, it has a safety record. It works fantastically. Um, as I said before, check out the link if you're interested. There's all the limits, all the prerequisites and all of this written down so you can have a detailed uh, check. I don't want to waste your time with explaining all of this in detail right now. Actually, what we do is we take this thing in the water now and I'll show you how this looks, how this works and uh, we fix that anchor. Right, back on board, we fixed that anchor, can pull it up now and uh, can go back to the harbor. So I hope you like this, check out our Facebook site, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.